what's up YouTube? We are back. We're going to talk about something that's really nifty and neat. We're going to talk about angled supports. Uh, we have this Frankenstein's monster model that I got off of Prusa Printers. I will share the link in the description. Uh, but basically, let's take a look at supports. Let's go to supports. And let's go ahead and click on the model. And we'll add some manual support. So normally when you add manual supports, you're just going to... Let's see here. Let's go ahead and get under this chin. We need to get this chin supported here. Do all that fun stuff. Oh, yeah. We need some more supports under there. Let's get some supports in there. Come on. Yeah, get some supports in there, because that chin is going to fall down. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to click around and get the chin in, and then we're going to get this nose, because that's supported in air, and this is where the issue comes in. And this ear here, let's get that ear supported, and let's get this ear supported. And as you see, when you do these tall supports, like this one coming from the bed, these are the issues. This is what I hate. This is what I don't like at all about supports. So you got this long support that comes all the way from the base all the way up and these are the ones that are tricky sometimes they fall over sometimes they don't stick to the bed um they're they're not the most reliable uh, they can be you can definitely make them stronger and more durable and all that fun stuff you know make them 100 percent fill if you so desire and that one was actually pretty bad let me go back to supports and add support and I actually do this correctly here there we go now we're good now we have what we would normally would do for supporting a print uh, the issue being is I don't like all this wasted material and I don't like this, you know, possibility of this falling over. The one on the chin, that's not going anywhere. That's a big chunky support. But what we can do is if we go back to supports and we go to remove supports, we can remove these tall, goofy supports that we don't need. And what we can do is actually rotate the model. So if we rotate this model, let me get over to here and grab this red one here and rotate the correct orientation let's see here we want to go about there and let's go to support and add manual support we can actually add angled supports in here that use a lot less material are much safer to use because again we don't have anything to worry about we can support things that normally we wouldn't support so we can get right up in there Good to go. And then let's go back to rotate and we'll hit reset and we'll move the design over. We're going to get under this ear here. So we need to rotate this green one here and move there and support and add manual support. And look at that. Look at the little tiny support we're going to add here. That's that little tiny support. Go back to rotate and reset and grab the green bar again. And we'll get to this other ear back here. Boom. And we'll do a little bit more. Got to get the angle just right. Again, this takes a little bit longer. But in the long run, you're going to have much better supports. Much easier to print. Wasting less material. And go back to rotate. And reset. Boom. Look at that. And I did a test print of this, and it turned out perfect. Oh, let's go back to that ear. So, Control Z and add a support and click on the model, add manual support. That's actually the part we need to support. These I don't need, so remove, click, click, and <clears throat> going back to view. Oh, actually, no, back to rotate. <laughs> Always reset your print. And those are the angled supports. So now we've got everything supported that actually needs to be sorted. We got under the nose, we got under the ears, and the under ear over here, and under the chin. So this print will print perfectly fine uh, with these minor supports. Now there are some things you need to change in the slicing menu. So let's go ahead and start slicing. And let's go use our PLA profile here. And if we go to supports, uh, we're going to go ahead and turn that on for all. And we're going to go ahead and keep it at concentric supports. That actually worked out just fine when I did this. And the flow rate I lowered to 80. That makes them easier to break off. But what we need to do is uh, change the uh, horizontal offset from 0 0.7 millimeters. This is how close it gets to the print to 0 0.3 millimeters. And make sure we have three dense support layers. Yes, we do. And make sure we have three solid base layers. We do. And save and slice. And all it's doing is that expansion or that 
uh, offset just keeps it closer to the model. That way these small ones that are attached to the face come off correctly. So let's watch this print. Now watch this slice. And preview. And as we can see, we have these awesome angled supports. And those are going to print perfectly fine. I'm going to throw in some pictures because I actually tested on this exact model to see if it would work. But they came off easily, didn't leave any marring. The chin came out great. So I'm going to add pictures in here. Uh, so you can see right here, uh, we have the finished product with all the supports. The angled ones on the nose and ear came out just fine. And then if we move a little bit further, we can see that the underside of the chin, the underside of the nose and such, all turned out immaculate. Um, so the technique works, and the, and, the, and the actual supports came off really, really easily. Um, you can lower the flow rate a bit if you want them to make them a little bit softer to take off. So other than that, this is a great technique if you want to save a bunch of material. Uh, if you don't want to, um, you know, have that kind of scary moment where the uh, you have a giant thin tower rising up. This was an issue, especially in Prusa Slicer. It likes to support things with like, you know, it's t typically over, you know, it's it's a little heavy handed in terms of how it supports the print and support and, uh, you know, overhangs and such. But then when it comes to just a small pillar, it makes like the world's smallest pillar. Uh, this definitely turns out a lot better. Um, so yeah, this is angled supports. This is the best use case for it. Again, anytime you need to run a support off of something onto something else without having to go straight from the bed all the way up, this is the best way to do that. So hopefully this video helps you out and stay tuned for more Idea Maker tips and tricks videos in the near future.